Good morning. On behalf of everyone in the San Francisco City Attorney's Office, and on behalf of the entire city family, I'd like to welcome everyone to San Francisco City Hall once again. <coughs> Throughout this long legal battle, we've come together here many times. When we defended Mayor Newsom's principal decision to issue same-sex marriage licenses in 2004, we had some wins and we had some losses. When we all stood together to challenge the discriminatory marriage exclusion, we won in the trial court, lost in the Court of Appeal, and went on to win in the Supreme Court just last year. Over the last five years in this building, we've celebrated our victories and consoled one another in loss. We've witnessed how meaningful marriage is to our friends, our family members, and also to ourselves. And I think we've come to know that no one who has been a part of this struggle, whether gay or lesbian or straight, married or single, will ever stop fighting for equality. <laughs> Today we're faced with a disappointing decision, but I think we also know it could have been worse. Yes, we're disappointed that Proposition 8 was upheld, but we're also grateful that Prop 8's advocates did not succeed in their cruel effort to unmarry 18,000 lawfully wed couples. <laughs> we're grateful for the powerful dissent by Justice Moreno. He stood fast for our constitutional guarantees and eloquently affirmed the judiciary's role in defending them. We're also grateful that the court let stand its important holdings in the marriage cases decision from last year. That ruling didn't simply end marriage discrimination, if only for a short time. It also established lasting protections against unjust treatment for the LGBT community here in California. Those protections remain untouched. Now I know that there will be a lot of disappointment over today's ruling and perhaps even anger, and both are understandable. But I would reiterate a point I made last year in victory, which is no less true today in defeat. Courts deserve respect for the difficult job they have to do. We may disagree with this ruling, and I'll be the first to say that the majority got it wrong. But what should separate us from our opponents is that we don't vilify judges we disagree with. We can dispute a court's decision without undermining the legitimacy of our independent judiciary. Today's ruling doesn't mean marriage equality will never be achieved. It simply means that, in the end, we can't rely on the courts to secure it. It means it will take all kinds of leaders, and not just lawyers, to restore the promise of California's Constitution. And it means that after five years of litigating, of winning some rounds and losing some rounds, the final decisive round won't be won in the legal arena. It will be won in the electoral arena. Now obviously, cities and counties can't take part in political campaigns, but I'm sure you know you can count on me and my Chief Deputy Terry Stewart, who has put her heart and soul into this case, and others as citizens to assist in the fight. But as But as your public sector co-plaintiffs over these last five years, our official role ends here. I know I speak for everyone in the city attorney's office when I say this fight remains in extremely capable hands with all of you. Still, I do want to extend an invitation in advance. When you finally put marriage discrimination behind us, when you've achieved at the ballot box what we couldn't manage today, you're all invited back here to City Hall because that celebration belongs here. And I hope and I expect that it won't be very long. So thank you. Thank you, and I'd like to, at this point, turn it over to our partner who has been with us uh, throughout the course of these last five years in this case, um, Kate Kendall from NCLR, who will take it from here. Thank you, Mr. City Attorney, 
and Terry Stewart, a champion for all of us. It is uh, impossible to square the elation that we felt just a year ago with the grief that we feel today. And it is impossible to reconcile the court's ruling from a year ago with its upholding of Prop 8 today. In upholding Prop 8, the court tarnishes that landmark historic victory for equality and dignity and diminishes its own legacy as a champion of fairness and justice. But it is clear that this is not the end. This is one day. It is one day. We have already seen a sea change in public opinion about the rights of same-sex couples in this country, in places we would not imagine. California has been at the forefront of fairness and equality and security and dignity once. And mark our words, we will be again. We will be again.